What is up, Pyrolysis Tribe? I am glad to be back. Thank you so much for the invitation. This here is the Mark IV Reactor, and today is going to be the first day that we do a complete run from start to finish. Now, I have done dozens of test runs, but it now is the time for us to go ahead and really run this thing start to finish complete. To make Now it's finally safe, it's finally stable, finally consistent, and that's what's been taking me so long to so just make sure that, you know, we can really do this. So, with that being said, enough talk, let's get some plastic going. So, here I have a bag full of plastic bags, really. We are going to shred all this up and weigh it and measure it and all that good type of stuff. And we're going to use this as our feed today in the reactor. Ah, uh, here she is, the good old rusty dusty plastic shredder. I haven't used her in a hot minute and look, she got some rust on her. Quite the good amount since the last time I used her, she was raw iron. Or carbon steel, rather. Anyways, let's go ahead and shred this bloody plastic up, mate. The little cock tripped me whole breaker, mate, just because it got a little bit upset. Messy mama, isn't ya? Anyways, back to it. Hey, she may put up a little fuss, but mama sure puts that work in, doesn't she? Look at that. Absolutely brilliant. Beautiful. Now I just gotta do that to the rest of this bag. See y'all then. Quando o trombone não quiser assoprar e os dedos da harpa não vão dedilhar. Capela, porque a orquestra vai parar. Crazy, in it. How all that plastic that filled up that other bag completely has now all been reduced to about what? Like a little over a quarter of this bag, yeah? As we can see. We do have some nice shreds in here. Oh, you can't even bloody see. Oh, come on, you cunt. Oh, uh, look. Here we go. Nice shreds in there. LDPE, 90% LDP. 90, I would say 95% LDPE, all right? Don't bloody come at me talking about, oh, it's not 100% pure. Shut up, because I don't care, mate. Yeah, right? It's more scientific than if I were just like, like not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At least I'm trying, all right? So anyway, let's go ahead and weigh this. Yeah, bell end. I sure hope this bloody scale works. Oh, she's on. She work. Okay. All right. Now I'm put. I'm gonna put this bucket on here, right? We'll zero the twat out, and then we'll put the bag in there, right? And then um, we'll be able to know. So let me go ahead and zero this mama out. All right, mama. <laughs> let's put her on. I said zero. Point zero zero pounds. I'm gonna do um kilograms as well. No worries, my scientific folks, my scientific buddies. 
Okay, okay, okay. Let me see if you can if I can zoom in on that for you. Can you see that? Oh come on, you camera, you are garbage. Alright, you can't see it, but it's at 2.6 wait. 2.67 pounds. 2.6 pounds seven ounces. How many kilograms? 38.7 kilograms, okay? So Pretty much, this is not that much plastic. 38 kilograms, 38.7, 2 point... What? Wait a minute. Oh, my bad. 38.7 grams. This is one... What? What does that even say? It's like a one, then it's a space, then nine, six kilograms. Does that mean it's 1.96 kg? Or does that mean it's 19.6 kg? Regardless, I'll just do the conversion because I know how many pounds it is. It's 2.6 and 6 ounces, whatever. Blah, 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 you get it. All right, I learned how to, how to read the bloke. Look, here's what it is. It's 1 kilogram and 9.2 grams. 2 pounds and 6.5 ounces. Or 38.5 grams. Boom. All right, now we know that much. Let's go ahead, do the rest of the stuff, yeah? Right, so we got our plastic. Let's blow ego, put it in the reactor. Whoa. Slow down there, you quick little cheeky mentor. If we put this raw, pure plastic in that bloody reactor the way it is, it is not going to really break down that much. It's going to absorb less microwaves than a nun. What? Anyways, um, with that being said, we need to add a catalyst, so, like, catalyst, catalyst, bloody, bloody catalyst, yeah, so anyways, this is, let's not get all scientific with it, let's keep it simple, this is carbon black, black carbon, from previous reactions, so, this is all that's left of the plastic, just this nice little black powder here, um, and this is actually a great catalyst, it improves many things, but one of the best things it does is it allows plastic to absorb microwaves. You know, if you go put micro plastic in your microwave at your house, you're not going to do anything, all right? You got to add a catalyst to it. I'm not saying do it at your microwave because you don't know what you're doing, but I'm saying, like, if you're me and you have a microwave reactor and you want to just do this, but you don't want to do it without the bloody carbon, then you got to add the bloody carbon or it's not going to bloody work, right? Anyways, I'm going to add the same amount of weight as carbon as I did by plastic. Same amount by weight, not by volume, right? So not like not like the same amount, but like the same weight. So this carbon's a lot denser, so it's gonna be a lot less carbon to uh, reach the same weight. So 30, we're gonna we're aiming for 30, 30 grams of this stuff. So you know, once again, I'm just gonna load it in this little baggie, and then um, we're going to um, <clears throat> weigh it. You know, it's not gonna be that much in here that's gonna equal the same amount because. You know, even just that little bit I added there has some weight to her. She got some heft. Let's see how much that is there. That's 9.4 grams. We're trying to get up to 38 grams. So, hey, we already, we're already on track there, you know. And, you know, I'm not, I don't know the best ratio. I don't know the best ratio. I don't know if you're supposed to add the exact amount of carbon and weight or you're supposed to add more or less or blah, 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 da, da, da. But, you know, right now for this test, we're just going to add the same weight. Keep it simple. Don't be stupid. Um, roughly, you know, if this, if this is like 40 grams, I'll just keep 40 grams in there, right? Let's add that in, let's see how much that is. 17, 17.7. So, so, you know, we just want to go ahead, add the bloke and like that. This carbon will absorb microwaves, which will then cause the plastic to heat up. And when the plastic gets hot, then plastic will absorb microwaves. So this basically speeds it up by a lot and boosts energy efficiency by a lot. And it's pretty much necessary. Like, you really can't do this without a catalyst of some sort. All right, so this is 37 grams. Add just a little bit more. 42? What the, what the piss? How'd we go up so quickly? All right, got to remove some. There we are. Move, I'll remove two scoops. Surely we'll be at like right smack dab at the perfect number. You know how it is for me. I, I just got the golden tooth. I'm lucky like that. 36. What the? 40? What in the hell? You got jokes. 
37.5. Alright, that's good enough. 37.5. Don't come at me with that because it's 0.5 off. So now that we got this roughly, very roughly the same amount, we're going to just go ahead and mix this carbon in this bag of plastic so I can shake it up. That show, remember that show, Shake It Up or whatever? I never watched it. I thought it was trash, but I just heard of it. And I used to, I always see little commercials and crap for it. So, I mean, it was it just was perfect time for, you to, for me to say that. That's why I said it. That's it, really. All right. Yeah, you see I added it in there. Mix it. Mix it. Just mix it up nice and, you know, homogenous. This is why you need to shred the plastic, honestly. For this step here, most importantly. I mean, like, you can put in regular plastic all you want, sure. But it'll never be as good as if you actually shred it. Now that I'm looking at it, like... 37 grams of that stuff was nothing for this. Like, you, you can hardly tell that we even added this carbon in. But, hey, science is science. Now, there's one last catalyst I want to add, and we will do that very soon once I just mix this up real good. Just got a bucket. Wonder what's inside. Lime! It's bloody lime. Ooh, who doesn't like a little bit of lime in their Sprite? And your little Sierra Mist, I love lime in mine. So we're going to do the same thing, add same weight, 38-ish grams of lime here. Now what lime does is it is alkaline, calcium oxide, so it is going to react with any acidic things that form hydrogen sulfide, um, hydrochloric acid, you know, any acidic things, it's going to absorb them and it's going to chemically inert, react with them and make salts instead of making like acidic vapors so that's always better let's go ahead and weigh this um, you can't really see lime is not as dense as the carbon well obviously not as dense as the plastic either so it seems like you probably got to add more carbon but you know that's another time you know it's going to work with what we got in there 40 wait what is that 42 add a little bit less remove some rather two scoops the magic number Oh my goodness, just all these things are so messy, getting powders everywhere. God, it's 10 this mess. Alright, 36.7, whatever. No, 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 I'm, I'm not going to slap that much now. That's a whole, like, 2 grams off. Or i got to add in one more. Come on, come on. Please, please, please be close. Just rough, rough, rough. 39? Oh my goodness, I hate science. F science, bro. God. Here all freaking day measuring lime, crack rocks, freaking powdered crack. All right, thirty-seven point nine. That's you. That's close enough. I don't want to hear nothing. Thirty-seven grams of coke. <laughs> Who wants some coke? I got some coke. All right, once again, we're bloody putting it in here. Why'd I take my glove off? Oh, whatever. I get crack all over me. Don't call the feds! Don't call the feds! Go <laughs> that mercy. Alright, before we get started, let me just do one last measurement of it all put together. Um, it technically should be 38 plus 38 plus 38 grams, but knowing me, I probably measured something wrong because I probably misread it, or I probably just didn't put it in there right, or I probably just messed up, or I probably don't give a goddamn. So let's just probably do it and probably see what it's going to probably be. So now it is one, what does that say? One point, 113 grams, three, two, ten, three point two, wait, three kilograms and 21 grams, seven pounds, and 1.2 ounces so 113 grams total 38 plus 38 plus 38 that sounds about right i guess i don't, I don't know freaking maths right now but hey there you go you have the numbers you do within what you want now we're going to go ahead and finally go on this reactor <laughs> 